Okay, so right now we're solving for inverse functions. So in order to solve this, this equation uh, for the inverse function, the first thing you do is you just set f of x, f of x to y. And then after that, then you're going to solve for this part. So that's the only thing that changes initially. And then at this point, uh, well, we just want to solve for the x. So we just want to isolate it. So well, let's square both sides. We're going to square the y, and we're going to square this in order to get rid of the square root, which gives you y squared is equal to 10 minus 3x. And now let's move over the 10, so we're going to get y. Well, actually, you know what? Better yet, instead of doing that, let's make it easier on ourselves. And let's, let's shift over the 3x to this side. And let's just move the y squared over here. So you're going to get 3x is equal to 10 minus y squared. And now we just divide by the 3, and that's uh, divide by the 3, and then we're going to get the 1 third times 10 minus y squared. And that's pretty. Now at this point, all you have to do is just switch the x's to y's and you're going to switch all the y's to x's. So this is going to look like this now. y is equal to 1 third uh, times 10 minus x squared. And all I did was just switch the y's to x's and I switched all the x's to y's. And now all you need to do is just change the y to f of x and that's your inverse function. Let me write negative 1 up here. And then that's equal to 1 third 10 minus x squared. And that's your answer. So the inverse function of f of x is equal to 1 third 10 minus x squared. Which here's f of x. And here's the inverse function. So there you go.